Okay, today's quick tutorial is going to be all things with Facebook Reels and how you can create a Reel using a green screen to do your market updates, to incorporate any of those graphs, or maybe it's a social post that we make for you, or it's a news article that you found. The key is, is you're going to want to take a screenshot or do a screen recording. So if you've never done a screen recording before on the iPhone, um, all you do is you take your finger and you drag it down like this and you click this circle button here. That's the screen record. So I can click that and it's gonna record anything on my screen. So just to recap, an easy way, let's say every Monday when you come in to do your media day appointment, which we should all be doing, Remember, every Monday we time block an hour. That's a reoccurring appointment that's considered media time for you to record the videos of the emails that I send every Friday of your battle plan. So you're to print off your battle plan when you come into the office Monday morning. So now we've taken out all the guesswork of I don't know what to say, I don't know what to post. But remember, this battle plan is what you are supposed to be doing in conjunction of what we're doing for the perfect social media strategy. But I've learned that a lot of you have said, I still struggle with video. I just can't seem, I don't know what equipment to use. I don't even know like how you use the features or the function. So that's what this video is gonna be about. And I'm focusing on Facebook Reels today because I've seen a huge amount of growth using Facebook Reels. So we're gonna start there, but no, you can download the Reel before you post it so that you can then repurpose it to other platforms. But first and foremost, go ahead and pick out some of the graphs that maybe you would want to use as your green screen, any of maybe from Mortgage News Daily where you could capture um, a recent article. And guys, what I love about this is one, all you need is your phone. That's all you need. And two, it gives validity to what you're talking about. So nobody likes to see a talking head over and over and over on social. And you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like the same style videos with the same fonts over and over. Don't do that. Okay, Johns Downs actually does a really good job of incorporating charts and data and graphs that gives you validity to what you're saying. So it doesn't feel like you're just trying to manipulate or get people to buy a home because selfishly you benefit from that. And that's what people are thinking is, of course, you want me to buy a home. Every time is a perfect time to bite. This is what you do for a living. So you've got to flush out some of that noise and, I, and control the narrative by using data in your marketing. This is how you do it. And again, all you need is your mobile phone. So the first thing that I want everyone to do is we're going to do some account settings check. In fact, I'm going to record my screen. So I'm literally just going to click this. Oops, got to make sure the app is open and you'll see it's starting to record. See the red button? It does a little countdown timer. I want to make sure that you guys are all seeing reels on your Facebook because it came to my attention during a class that I taught that not everybody was still even able to see reels. So when you open up Facebook like this, one, for troubleshooting purposes, make sure that you've gone to your app store and that you've updated your apps, including all social media apps. So that would be the first item to troubleshoot. If you can't see reels here at the top, so see where it says reels and stories? There are some people who just see stories. Then it may mean you need to submit a support ticket, which all you would do is if you click on the menu button at the bottom right, see my little profile picture? All of you should have your phones out. So hit pause if you need to. Get your phone. This is the one time you can be looking at your phone while you're watching this video. But I want you to do the keystrokes with me because it'll help. Okay, click my profile picture at the bottom right. And the first thing I want you to check is go to settings. So the little wheel at the top, click the wheel, and you're going to go to profile settings. Profile settings, see where it says privacy? Go to privacy. Okay, then you're going to go to manage your profile. And see where it says category digital creator? I would edit your category, and I have my category public. You don't have to. You can set that as private. But I want to make sure that you guys have the professional use of a personal profile, so not a business page. We're not talking about business pages. But because I have a digital creator account for my personal Facebook use, I can even get paid for the reels that I'm doing. I can look to see how my reach is growing. So I would edit that and choose digital creator and see if that works. If for some reason that still doesn't work, then that's where 
the best thing you can do is take a screenshot. So you'll just click these two buttons at the same time, depending on what phone you have. Take a screenshot showing that it only shows you stories right now. No reels, if this is you. And then you are going to, oh, hi, Kara. Look at Kara. Good job. You even have the captions on there, girl. I'm so proud of you. That is a rock star. All right. Squirrel. You're going to click your profile picture. And let's get out of the privacy settings. So I'm going to click the back buttons because I want to go back to the main right here. For the record, you should also be able to see reels. You should also see reels here. If you don't, then you're set something's wrong with your settings. And so again, you could take a screenshot of this. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to go to help and support. You're going to click the down error. And then you're going to click report a problem. Okay, and this is where I'll let you just go through the steps of how to report the problem, and it'll allow you to select the two photos that you took screenshots of showing that you don't have reels. So first and foremost, that's the first thing you want to check if for some reason you don't have reels showing. Next, remember, before you start your green screen reel, you must have the actual graphs or the article in your phone to pull up so that you can have it in the background. So then see the plus icon at the top right? You're going to click plus because we're going to create a new reel. This is where you, you click this icon, guys, anytime you want to add something to your story or if you want to create a new post or if you dare to go live for you daredevils out there. Um, but you're going to click reel. Okay. Now, I would say, well, I'm, I'm going to click green screen, the top right. Guys, this is usually an indicator that when you use their in-app features, you're going to be rewarded to do so, okay? So click green screen. And now I'm gonna choose maybe this first graph. And I'm gonna talk about this one first. It's giving me the option to pinch to make myself bigger or smaller. So if I click done at the top right, whoa, it's way too big. Maybe I just wanna be here, okay? So see how my finger kind of gets cut off on the screen? So you're going to want to make sure that you have, you know, place yourself where, wherever you want. And I'm going to actually get out of this screen so it's not weird. Okay. So this is where you have your first chart. And all you would do is you would click, see the center. I call it the belly button guy. That's not a great word for it, but we're just going to call it the belly button guy. In the very center with the red real movie icon. You're going to click that. And now I am recording whatever narrative or whatever I want to say about home price forecast for 2023 by the source. And I can completely get out and I could do this. And I don't actually have to have a green screen behind me. So now I'm going to hit stop. And now I am recording whatever narrative. But let's say I want to show another chart. I'm going to hit edit. And I'm going to click add. So maybe I want to add for my gallery, I want to do this chart. I'm going to hit next. We'll just leave it at that for now. Come back in the screen. So at the top right where it says audio, this is where I could add music. This is also where I could lower my audio. Okay, so for example, whatever narrative or whatever I want to say about home price forecast for 2023 by the source and I can completely get softer out. and I could if I want to add music I would click add music and I could choose if I click the little play icon it gives you a sample of what that sound is come to this sorry not that so let's say I, I want that song. I'm going to go ahead and click on come check this. Come check this. I'm going to click edit. Come check this. This is where I could change the speed. Maybe I want it to go twice come as fast. Sound weird. Oh. I typically wouldn't say to do that if you have speech, but sometimes if you record something and you're doing like of your office and you want it to either slow down or even if you want it to go reverse. So I could click on speed 
I can make it faster or slower all right here. I can also change the reorder of it. You see where it says reverse? I can hit reverse and it'll go backwards. Reverse. Wouldn't want to do it with this, but maybe you're like jumping into the pool and you want it to go in the reverse order. This is how you can do that even after the fact. I'm going to hit cancel because it kind of takes a while to do that. If I hit mirror, I can mirror myself. Obviously, I wouldn't want to do that if there's writing on the back, but maybe you have like in the background, it says the mortgage classroom. And in your, when you're looking at it, it's in the correct, you could read it, but when, anytime you're recording from your front lens, it makes it in reverse. So this is an easy way. Maybe you just hit the reverse button and now it will, sorry, not the reverse, the mirror button. So now if you hit the mirror button, it'll actually make it read the correct way for whatever you have in the background. You probably won't use crop a whole lot. Um, the effects. This is where if you ever wanted to add, like this kind of looks like snow. Maybe you want to do something like this. Maybe Valentine's Day, you do the pink flame. These are just different effects. And guys, I just recommend you play with it. If I don't want any of those, I would then just change it to none all the way to the left. If I wanted to add captions, which I highly recommend you add captions as long as it doesn't Captions is where it shows the words on the screen. It's transcribing it right now. I can choose at the bottom. Do I want to change my font styles? If I want to change my font color, I just go to the top to the color wheel. Let me just make sure. Oh, the speed. That's why it was having a hard time transcribing is my speed on my speech was 2x. So I don't want that. So again, I'm going to go back to captions on the right. It's the fourth one from the top. I'm going to hit captions. See, now I can always edit the captions by tapping on the edit captions. I can change the color here. I don't really love where that, so I'm taking two fingers and I could put it in the white space. Again, if I click the CC, the captions, oops. I click the CC captions and I wanna change the font. Maybe I want it to be like a typewriter where it's typing. I could. If I click edit, if there was like a misspelling or something, I could fix it there too. I'm not gonna end up posting this, but this is just for looks. Let's see, stickers, if you wanted to add sticker, you could. And I'm gonna click next. This is where I would then write my caption. So I could put write caption or hook here. But if I'm wanting to reuse this video that I just made, then you're gonna to wanna to click the back arrow because as soon as you click share now, now it's gonna be published. So you're gonna to wanna to hit the back arrow and see at the very bottom, kind of hard to tell in white, it's the very last icon on the right, it says save. You're gonna to wanna to download to your device so you can reuse it. And you could put this on TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, your Google business profile, LinkedIn, you name it. This is a quick and easy way for you to use the green screen feature where you can have the validity of the graph so it proves what you're talking about. Cause yes, we all know you, benefit from people buying homes. And so instead of just being another talking head video, because there's plenty of them out there, incorporate the green screen into your media production. It's really this simple. All you need is a phone and an article, and you can capture a great informative educational video that's backed by data, not just your opinion or your way to convince people to buy a home. And it's easy to create. You don't have to have all of this. So I'm going to discard, I'm gonna do it one more time. So see at the top left where it has those pink lines, I'm gonna hit the back arrow because I want all of it to be discarded. And let's say I'm gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna hit green screen. I'm going to select the video. I'm gonna hit done.
And that's it. That's how simple it is that you could use the green screen feature. And y'all could all do this for every Monday for a market update. So I want everyone to commit. You should be watching this on Friday. Maybe you're watching this video over the weekend. Print out your battle plan. Choose an article that you've seen in Mortgage News Daily. They create one like every day. You can set up a notification where it comes into your inbox. Or you could use just one of the social media posts from us that we've given you that you could make. I'll also show you this. If you click Reel, so here you're on the Reel section and you're ready to create a Reel because it's Monday and you're going to incorporate this new strategy every Monday. You guys are all going to make this commitment. Click the Create Reel screen and let's just pick camera for now. See where it says Effects, the third one from the top? Click Effects. See where it says More Effects? Click there and type in green screen. I have it saved, but if you click the little magnifying glass, oh wow, that's scary. Click the magnifying glass and type in green screen. And let's say, see this cool one with the girl with the, the hand? So if I click this one, I can choose. So I'm gonna hit the down arrow on the right so I can get rid of this. And I'm gonna click add media, and maybe I wanna do this one. This means when I hold my hand up, that chart is gonna show. So I could be like, hey guys, if you're wondering why interest rates aren't at the 5% level, here's why. See how I just, and it shows. Let's do another one. Maybe I wanna do, To camera. I'm going to go back to effects. I'm going to go to more effects. I'm going to type in green screen. And let's do the phone. See the phone icon? This would be a great one for you to showcase maybe a post that you had. So I'm going to click this and see where the checkers are. That's where your post will go. So I'm gonna click the down arrow on the right again, and I'm gonna click add media, and I'm gonna choose, so this is where you'd want it to be in your camera roll. I'm gonna choose the post that I made earlier this week. And look guys, I could do an update and say, did you see this post I made last week? Like, check this out. If you haven't checked this out on my Instagram, make sure you're following me, blah, blah, blah. And it shows up as an iPhone. Like, how cool does that look? So. Play around with this. Remember how I got there is I just clicked effects. I went to reels, so I chose camera, and then I just clicked the effects button and I typed in green screen. Duck face, that's crazy some of this stuff. You can just kind of choose and you don't ever have to end up posting any of them either guys. So just play around with it and see what you like, okay? Let me know what questions you have. Leave your questions or comments below and I'll look forward to seeing some of y'all's posts come Monday. Make sure you tag me so I can see. All right, y'all take care.